We start tonight live with 24 Hour News 8's Crystal Hilliard, who's standing by at the John Ball Zoo, where there has been another incident involving that brand new funicular. Crystal? Brian, there was a woman and her five-year-old son that were on that tram or vernacular when it stopped. I'm going to take a step out of the way so you can see. It's that little red object you can kind of see through the trees. We're told the woman and her son are fine tonight. The zoo operators tell us this is a lot like a horizontal elevator that really doesn't move too fast. And when it stops, it stops very gradually. This is what transports visitors from one area of the zoo to another. Just after 3 o'clock today, it came to a gradual stop, and the lady that was on there, she hit the call button and radioed to staff for help. We're told they followed protocol, and firefighters were here, were here within just a couple of moments and were able to get a ladder up to them so they could get down and onto the catwalk. Now, you may remember in July, there was a little bit of a little bit of a fender bender. The funicular was being tested and when it tilted inward, causing a little bit of damage to one of the cars. But that was when there was nobody really riding on that. It was more of a test ride. But take a listen as to what could have possibly caused this today. Um, there's multiple safety features with this, and so there's different buttons and, and gadgets that that you know something could have been, you know, uh, misaligned on the uh, on a sensor or something. So we're still looking into what exactly you know caused it to stop. Now these cars are made to hold six to ten people each, and this is part of the the most recent expansion that happened here at the John Ball Park Zoo. We're live in Grand Rapids tonight. Crystal Hilliard, 24-hour news eight.